king. What's up, Pella Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started with today's video, just a reminder, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, check me out on TikTok, uh, it's at Hellasnet Stark. So today, we have an unboxing. There it is. It's a hot toy. Let's see which one it is. Now, I ordered this thing about 20 months ago. All right, there it is. It is the Clone Wars Darth Maul. There's the front of the box. Now, what's really cool about this one is usually um, it comes just in a box, but this one you can actually slide off and they give you some extra details. And once the figure is open, you can you can see their, his eyes in here. So it's kind of cool if you wanted to display it in box. And this is just like it is in uh, the episode. All right, so let's open this up. Again, I waited 20 months for this, so I'm pretty excited to finally be able to take a look at it. All right, so the first thing we're going to notice is it is very well packaged. And we're going to kind of just take some of this apart so I can show you what he looks like. Now this does have light up lightsabers, which is one of the big reasons why I did get it. He's full of plastic, so we're gonna clean them off here. They do a really nice job making sure it's protected. So what I've basically done is I've taken off most of the stuff. Now he has this protective film right here on his chest under his vest. So I've taken away the belt and the shoulder pads and I'm gonna go ahead and just um, take off the vest or the jacket so we can get rid of that film. I mean, that's and that's cool because when you look at the figure, and I'll show you here in a minute, you can really see the details on the chest. You know, most of the figures you don't really see their chest, so I understand why they, you know, they did that. So you can see the whole thing is protected. I got it all off. It took a lot longer than I ever would have thought, but I wanted to be careful. So again, there is. There he is. So there's the details. So it looks really good. And then we have, here's the head mold. And they did a really nice job in the eyes and the teeth. I'll see if I can get close to you. So they did a really nice job with it. Really, really, really nice details on this one. Uh, these are the shoulder pads. And then these are the wrist guards. And then finally, uh, this is one pair of his hands. And I'm sure there's others in the box. You can see it says his name. Right there. Nothing crazy fancy or anything. Um, it matches the figure though quite a bit. So let's go through his hands first. So he's got several different hands here. Um, we've got a pair of uh, gloveless hands. Actually, two pair of gloveless hands. Different types of grips. And then that one matches it. So we have those. We also have another pair. And these hands are closed fists. Um, you definitely could probably get a lightsaber in there. Just like that. The other one's the same on the other side. And you can obviously mitch match depending upon how you want to um, pose it. We have... So we have just one more of the arm guards. So that's a little lighter and it is kind of strange, there's only one of them. We have his hood, and it does tell you in the instructions how to attach the hood. So that's the hood, and it's nice material. It's like felt, you can see that the Velcro's on. So we'll play around with that. We have batteries for the lightsabers. We have another set of hands. Uh, again, these are the glove hands that look like they're going to hold the lightsabers. So fists. So that's 
what is it was that three pair it's three pair of hands it comes with no four four pairs of hands so two gloved two ungloved this is the arm you're gonna have to use if you want to glow because there's a little screw right in here right like in here so if you're if you're gonna want to use this as glow if you want to glow um this is the one you're gonna have to use it's probably because all the electronics are in there so you have to literally switch out the entire arm um interesting that they made it that color but like why would they not just put it in one of these arms i mean i guess if you keep them covered it's not a big deal but if you wanted to leave it with your shirt off i don't know curious and then finally we have the full hilt so this one is clearly not going to be the one that glows so there's the whole thing so it is already combined for you so you can't take them apart. I was kind of, I was kind of thinking you might be able to take these apart, but I guess not. We have four blades. So we have the two regular blades that will glow. And then what they also do is they give you two other blades that you can use to make it look like he's moving. You know, so it would be attached. And the way you move it is that it will make it look like it's actually moving. He's actually twirling it. So you have two different variations of blades. And that's pretty much what's in the box. So at this point, I think we're going to go ahead and just kind of see. Um, I'm going to build it with his hood on because um, I want to see how that attaches. I will play around with that arm that uh, I'll have to put the batteries in. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and try to pose them up and see what it looks like. Um, like I said, the details are really nice though on this figure. I, this is like my fourth or fifth one, and the details on the chest area is really cool. I, I guess I wish they, I wish they would have had the lightsaber um, electronic part in a red version of the hand. I, I wonder why they just didn't do that. I don't know. I feel like now you can't really pose him without his clothes on. So it's just too bad because the details are so are so phenomenal on, on this chest piece. This piece here, what that's going to do is going, you can actually move his eyes with this. So if you want him to look to the left, right, up, down, you know, angled, that's what this piece is for. So that piece will move his eyes. So that's, that's a neat little feature. Oh yeah, because if you look inside the head, you can kind of see the two little white dots. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually put this little piece in there and that will help you um, adjust the eyes. So I made a small little adjustment just to kind of get his glare kind of going like this, down a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I took out the forearm and I'm going to attach the uh, piece that uses the electronics to make the blade light up. And then if I turn it on, you can see the lights. And it comes out of both ends. So we'll see what that looks like in here in a second. Um, Fairly painless. Uh, the one little hint I will give you is when you do buy a hot toy with the batteries, don't over tighten it because it won't, sometimes the blade uh, won't glow. So if you over tighten it, loosen it up and it should be fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to, to attach the hood. Now I'm gonna take out the forearm again because in order for me to put that jacket back on him, I'm not gonna be able to do it with his hand. Um, but let's do, I'm gonna do the hood and it's just Velcro. And there's three spots. Now the head is like a magnet. So it literally just snaps on. So a lot of these, you have to have to push them on. This is just a magnet. And I can go ahead and make the adjustments now with the jacket. So he's got his hood up. Get the tunic on here in a minute. I'm gonna fix the jacket, fix his arms. You gotta rebuckle. So this is definitely a lot more work to get him to kind of set up how you want to pose it compared to a lot of the other hot toys, just because you get hit, you kind of almost have to undo everything. The hood is definitely oversized. I mean, I'm trying to make it that look so it's so big, but I, I mean, you know, they do have big heads. There we go. So there, that's what he looks like right now with the hood. And the hood, I, hood you can definitely play with, make it 
tighter or whatever you want to do. Just you gotta just make adjustments when you when you do these hot toys. The head make, moves really really easily, which makes it nice. So even if you do have the hood and then like you know that perfect pose, it's easy to move the head. So there's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the glove sleeves back on. So this one has that little, it has like a little opening because you can't get it on because the hand does not come off of the side. So we're just going to open it up just a little and throw it on there. And that also covers your battery. So you're definitely gonna have to move, scooch that up when you wanna turn the battery on. Because I don't think that opening, well, yeah, it's, it's covered, but that's okay. All right, so we got that one on. Now, I, I don't know why there's two, I don't know why there's a different color. I'm, I'm just gonna go with the basic color. I'm not, it's, it's a little curious. Um, and then we got a shoulder pads to put on too. So the other hands for right now, I'm going to use his open hand. And maybe I can get like a force push movement out of this one or something. And like always, I always find the hardest part of this is putting the hands on. Because if you're not careful, the pegs break. So that's kind of what he looks like right now with his hand. And I will get the uh, sabers in. Um, don't want to forget the belt. So the belt can hold. It looks like there's two slots. So it looks like you're going to be able to attach the other hilts. You could have the hilt hang off the belt like so if you wanted to. So we're going to throw this back in here. And the belt just velcros to itself, so you can make it as tight as you like. All right. All right, just making a few last minute adjustments to the hood and the vest and the tunic just to make sure everything looks nice. All right, so this, so far this is what we got. The hood is a little big. Um, I don't know if I, I mean, I wish, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll adjust it and I'll make it look better, but it is a little big. I mean, maybe, maybe in the camera, it's just coming off way big. It, I guess when I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think, the, you think it's too big, the hood? I guess it look again. I think I think when you see it, it looks all right. It looks like there's just a lot of dead space on top of his head, and I can't really make it go lower because if not, because uh, it won't hit the Velcro. I'm trying to give him like a slight tilt and down, kind of like a Jason Voorhees type mold, you know, like like his kind of pose. I guess that looks all right. There's the back of him. And we'll get them posed up here in a second. Let's get the blade in. So we'll do uh, we'll do the regular blade for the video. And you're just gonna stick these in either end. And if you wanted to, you could just go the one blade. But you know he's Darth Maul. He's dual wielding. So we're gonna use both, of course. And we just gotta figure out what type of pose we want him to do. I mean, I could definitely, you know, use two hands if I wanted to, if I wanted to get one of the other fists. Um, but let's see what I can get with this. I, I like this open hand. It looks like he's trying to like do a force push or something. Oh, and then we have the shoulder blades too. We got to stick back on. I almost forgot about that. And just Velcro. And here's our stand. Let's see if we can't get him on here. I 
I do have the Ahsoka coming as well. So I'm definitely going to pose them. I'm going to have to go back and watch when they fight in Season 7 of Clone Wars. Because I'm going to try to get a pose of that. And I'll post it on my Instagram whenever I get Ahsoka. I'm not sure why I haven't got her yet. Alright, so now we got him on the stand. Now I just kind of make some small adjustments to the way he's standing. Making him look all menacing. Make him look like he's doing that force push. He's got his saber. We'll turn on the light here in a second. Turning on the light is always the most difficult part because you have to kind of go back in and almost have to remove. Yeah, you're going to have to. Let me see. So you can access it. It's very hard. It might be good for the tool. So there we go. I like the force push. I'm actually going to have them look that way, I think. Things definitely change before I put them out for display, but I kind of like it. So there it is. So he's kind of looking off to his uh, his left side when he's doing that force push. He's got his saber made a little high. Let's adjust that down. There we go. All right, well, there it is. I mean, this is, this is a pretty cool figure. It took a while for me to set it up. Um, and there's more to play around with, but I think overall it is, it's one of the nicer ones I have. I really like the way I'm doing that force push. Again, it, it's a little hard to see in the camera where his eyes are actually looking, but he's looking kind of like, like going right over that, over that hand. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think in the video. Um, if you want me to do a different pose with him, I can let me know in the comments. I can always do that. I can throw the other blades on. Um, I can change up the hands a little bit. I could have them just, uh, you know, using the saber with just one of the blades out. So there's a way. There's many different ways you can do this. I could do it hoodless. Um, you know, you can even bring the hood down if you wanted to. But um, yeah. So here, actually, I'll take the hood down so you kind of see what it looks like. Oh, I kind of like that better. I'll be honest with you. I don't know, hood or no hood. So the hood, I like the way the hood looks in the back now. Well, I tell you what, I think I like it without the hood. I'm gonna adjust his eyes really quick, or not his eyes, but his, I'm just gonna make sure he's looking the way I want him to look. Down just a little. I don't know, guys. What do you think, hood or no hood? I'm kind of digging it without the hood up. Bring that blade up just a little. So tell me what you think, hood, no hood, and you want to see another video of me trying to pose him with the other sabers? All right. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, I will be dropping a new podcast on Friday. We're going to talk all about Star Wars Celebration. The next podcast after that is going to be... Um, I'm going to wait till the next Kenobi comes out. And I'm going to do a podcast. I'm reviewing the show up to the finale. And yeah, so that's what i got coming up this week. Um, I do have one more unboxing that will be dropped on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this figure. And um, don't forget guys, give this a up.